Let's talk about deliverables that investment bankers work on. There's a couple of different deliverables that they have to create. The first one I'll talk about is called the pitch book. And basically this helps investment bankers to win what are called bake-offs, okay? Basically what that means is a big company wants to hire an investment bank. They don't know which one yet. So they kind of create a request for a proposal, which is what you also see in the consulting sector. And then the analysts at the investment banks uh, and their boss, of course, will put together a massive binder but the binder actually is used as exhibits. The first 10 or 15 pages are all that really matter. And this is what a bake-off is. And they're also used to meet people. Uh, a lot of times, uh, investment bankers will submit their pitch books in a bake-off knowing that there's no way they're going to win it. Um, and then you ask yourself, well, hold on a second. You're going to make me do all that work and we're not going to win it? Why did you make me work on this pitch book all night again? So uh, <laughs> um, basically, they, they do it just so they can network, okay? So a lot of times, they, they know they can't win it, but they can at least establish that initial relationship. And relationships are the most important thing in investment banking. If you don't know people, then they'll never hire you to do investment banking work for them, okay? And they're used to propose deals as well. So let's say that you work on an investment banking team and your boss thinks that Microsoft should consider buying company X. And so you work on a proposal with your team, okay? Just a couple of PowerPoint presentations, Excel models, whatever, to kind of justify how accretive or additive to earnings this deal might be, for example, to Microsoft. And that's a deal that's being proposed, okay? And that's another type of a pitch book, okay? And so it's more or less a marketing document, okay? It talks about how great your company is and what deals you worked on in the past. Please learn how to use PowerPoint like a boss. I'm sure there's many great Udemy courses that can uh, teach you that sort of thing. And these pitch books are never made from scratch. So you might feel really overwhelmed with a pitch book that you're working on, but don't worry about it because there's a massive repository. You can see that huge filing cabinet that you're hanging off of in the top right-hand corner of this slide here. Um, so they reuse a lot of slides. Okay, and in the pitch book, they always mention the deals they've won in the past. So it's just chest pounding to kind of brag in, in, a, in, a, classy, in a classy way uh, what deals they've, they've won in the past. And, and here's some examples. These are called tombstones, right? And these can be put in the newspaper sometime, just kind of pounding their chest saying, we won this deal. That's a Canadian, Tim Hortons there. <laughs> And uh, they can also be, you'll see little glass versions of these things, little trophies that investment bankers will put uh, on their, their vanity shelf. Okay, the pitch book will also say who the bankers are, uh, where they've worked before, uh, where they've gone to school, which I don't think is really relevant, but they do it anyway. Uh, what is the experience or the cumulative experience of all the bankers added together uh, in the pitch book? They'll also talk about the history of the firm and what they're good at. So Goldman... Um, you know, if they're doing a pitch for the automotive industry, they might mention that they've had a relationship with the Ford family forever since the 1950s. Um, and it's basically a sales pitch also to hire your firm that you work at over other firms. What makes you better than other firms? And of course, you never say anything negative about another firm uh, in writing or, or ever, ever in person, actually. It's, um, it's not a classy thing to do. And there is a ton of disclosures at the end. There's a bunch of lawyers that always work with uh, investment bankers and uh, they put a ton of disclosures in so they can't get sued. Or if they do get sued, they are protected. Okay, here's different types of pitch books. We talked about this. This was a bank introduction. Okay. Another one is what is our view on the market? Okay. And there's um, uh, uh, an incredible partner at, at Kleiner Perkins named Mary Meeker, who used to be the top investment banking uh, uh, banker in, in the internet sector. And she used to put together these amazing market view books. Uh, and she still does it now, actually, for venture capital firm Kleiner Perkins. Do a search on it. Uh, she, along with uh, Alex Tran uh, and team, make this amazing view of the internet. It's 100 pages. It comes out every May or so. Do a search on it. Uh, it'll help you understand the internet sector and trends. Pitch book number three is an IPO. They want to win an IPO mandate or an M&A mandate as well. Okay. And so when a company is acquiring another company, meaning M&A, there's an investment bank that um, represents the acquirer and a separate, always a separate investment bank that represents the acquiree or the firm getting acquired. 
It's like having legal counsel or consultants to work with you. And um, basically, you, you work really long hours on these things, uh, and it can be a little bit mind-numbing every now and then. Pitch book number four is a roadshow, okay? Um, and it's when, a, when a, uh, an investment bank takes a company on the road and shows their product to investors, okay? And there's something called non-deal roadshows, uh, which I've shaded here because it's, uh, it's kind of, it's not a real roadshow. Roadshows are done if you have an IPO. Okay, and you want to kind of show the management team to everybody, all the mutual funds, buy side people like the uh, hedge funds. But there's also something called a non-deal roadshow, which is kind of like a practice for this, where the investment bank might take a company to meet with a lot of um, a lot of buy side firms like mutual funds or hedge funds. And the investment banker will usually sit in the room unless they're asked to leave, which happens a lot. And they'll sit in the room and they'll kind of listen and take notes and see what the the buy side thinks of a company uh, from a valuation perspective, uh, strengths and weaknesses perspective. And they take down a lot of notes and they change their um, pitch books based on that. And they advise management teams as well to, hey, maybe you should consider this. Shareholders want this, that sort of thing. Okay, here are analysts working very hard. Of course, your boss works just as hard as you do all the time. The hours can be really, really long for uh, for investment bankers, as you know by now. And here are some best practices or best pitch book contents. You want to be able to say why you're better than the competition. And again, don't ever say negative things about the competition or name them. Okay, don't give them the airtime. You also want to list your, your top strengths, uh, talk about the management team, how awesome the firm is you work for, uh, and the knowledge of a given sector and company that your team has. And make it 10 to 15 pages max, less is more. And you can also have additional exhibits as well in the appendix, which can be quite large. And so I want to stress here that all pitch books are radically different, which is why I'm not including examples, okay? All banks have different strengths, histories, employees, etc. Okay, so here's what you do next. Okay, I probably can't include pitch books here for uh, compliance reasons, but I want you to do this. Go to Google and search for any investment bank, put the name of the investment bank there in brackets, and then pitch book, okay? And you'll see a bunch of different examples and you'll see they're all radically different, but this will be great for you to understand uh, what is needed to put in these things. And uh, uh, here's an example of one you might wanna search for that's out there as well. Okay, there's a website called slideshare.net, which is unbelievable. It's owned by LinkedIn and you can search for pitch books here. And so you can search for, for example, for example, Morgan Stanley pitch book and a bunch will come up. Remember I told you about uh, Mary Meeker. Um, she used to work there and actually you can see down here, there's one of her reports on internet trends. And uh, this is a little bit old, uh, but um, you can see how right uh, Mary was. Um, she basically talks about the importance of mobile uh, as the new desktop. Um, this was back in 2010. So she was really ahead of, ahead of her time. But anyway, go to this website, slideshare.net and do a search on pitch book and books and you will get plenty of examples. Again, every bank and every type of pitch book is completely different, but try to keep them somewhat short.